What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. The left hemithorax is completely opacified, also known as a whiteout. We can divide the causes of a whiteout into three categories depending on the state of the mediastinum. One, the mediastinum is pulled towards the whiteout. This happens in complete lung collapse but can also happen with a pneumonectomy, so look out for any surgical clips. Two, the mediastinum stays where it is. This happens in lung consolidation, most of the time due to pneumonia. Three, the mediastinum is pushed away and that's what's happening here. And the reason for that is a large pleural effusion. In our case, we can quite clearly see the mediastinum pushed away from the side of the whiteout. Have a look at the trachea, which is pushed to the right, implying something has taken up space on the left side of the chest. Having an ultrasound machine handy can be helpful, as a pleural effusion will show as pure black anechoic material, unlike lung collapse or consolidation. Draining an effusion under ultrasound has two benefits. One, there is symptomatic relief for the patient, and two, testing the fluid can help us work out the etiology. Along with cytology, looking for cancer cells and microbiology, we can test biochemistry. Over 35 grams per deciliter of protein tells us the fluid is an exudate, including causes like infection, including a paranemonic effusion and empyema. With an empyema, you'll see a pH of less than 7.2, and this can change your management. You're more likely to want to drain the effusion that same day if you know this is an empyema, as the patient can deteriorate rapidly. Exudates also include malignancy and inflammatory causes. Less than 25 grams per deciliter, and we have a transidate, the most common cause of which is heart failure. Between 25 to 35 grams per deciliter, we can use LIGHTS criteria to help us differentiate. In our case, the fluid was drained and shown an exudate. Here's the chest strain and we're left with a peripheral left-sided mass. Although residual loculated fluid is possible, if this is a soft tissue mass, we're suspicious of malignant pleural disease. This can represent mesothelioma or secondary metastases to the pleura. Here we have the CT scan and we can see a soft tissue lesion related to the left-sided pleura. We can also see this patient's had an esophagectomy and a gastric pull-up. The esophagus has been removed and the stomach has literally been pulled up into the chest. It isn't common for esophageal cancer to involve the pleura, but most common cancers that do are lung, breast, ovarian and lymphoma. However, the mass was biopsied, proving metastatic disease from the previous esophageal cancer. So remember to look at the mediastinum whenever you see a whiteout, and also ultrasound can help you out when you're not sure.